recognizable. We've talked before about models coming and going. This one that's come back into production not all that long ago. The 1973 Ford Bronco brought to us by Charles Abraham of Naples, Florida. Thank you for coming all the way up from Naples. We, we spent some time in Naples not too long ago. We have a, an association of automobile museums that meets every year. We had a conference down at the Revs Institute not too long ago. Absolutely beautiful city, but a great uh, conference as well. Nice to meet the folks down there. And we see the Ford Motor Company. Again, no, nothing uh, in the industry is that much of a secret. Uh, and certainly when you see another com your competitor having success in one market, you're going to see if you can get a piece of that pie. So Ford, I, you know, maybe they can get in on some of the Jeep CJ market. And uh, you know, with some other early sport utilities, I, I, I think of the IH uh, uh, sport utilities, the tra I don't say travel all, but I know that's not the scout. That's it. Uh, and the Bronco was really an attempt to get into that early market as uh, not an SUV, but a multi-purpose vehicle, an MPV. Yeah, Jeep, of course, building four-wheel drive runabout vehicles for the war effort in World War II, and then when they initially began selling civilian versions right after the war, they were kind of at a, well, not at a loss at how to market it, but I think they didn't quite realize the potential was there. They, they worked very hard to promote its utilities as a vehicle that can be used to uh, either plow snow, it can be used to haul materials and goods could be used to run farm equipment, but uh, as the decades roll on, especially if you in the 1960s, you, know, you have this realization that people want to have a fun car, but not a sports car. They want something they can just drive off-road, off on the trails for fun, and these start very much as sports cars did too, not about the creature comforts, just about durability and reliability, and the Bronco is a great example of that. Uh, production on the original Bronco ended in 1996. Of course, it had gotten a little larger over the years than we mm -hmm. find many times, but uh, returned for 2021. You see a lot of the new Broncos on the streets around here in Dearborn. Looks like it's been a real good again for Ford. And uh, Charles Nelson, said he is a Bronco guy, uh, second, second owner of the car. He also has a 1993 Bronco and a 2023 on order that will be here shortly, we hope. He's, he says here that he doesn't go to too many car shows, but he loves to be at this one. We are grateful for you yes. sharing the Bronco Glad with us. You, Glad you came out for us. That yellow Coliseum is very much a Florida car, too. Absolutely yes. perfect for using Naples.